Ladies and gentlemen, it is the 2014 Premier Movie Draft League. It's the winter movie draft covering movies from uh, October all the way through January. I'm Brian Brushwood, joined by all my co-hosts from all the shows I ever do, starting with Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt, how are you doing, sir? I am doing well, Mr. Brian Brushwood. I'm very excited about what some people disparagingly call the winter leagues of uh, the movie draft. But as a returning champion, I like to think of as an expression of your ability to win in crunch time. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, the crunching of the snow time is what you mean. Hey, yeah, for those of you guys who time, don't know. Not as many blockbusters, harder to figure out. It certainly is, and that's part of the reason uh, during the Summer League we usually split up into teams, but this time we have a bunch of individual players taking us through. Let's do a quick round, and then we'll learn the rules. We are joined from FrogPants.com. We have Scott Johnson. Scott, how are you doing, sir? Hi, good. I'm ready to I'm ready to play it, to win it, to be it. To live it and win it. Okay, good. We also have Brett the Amtrek around Seville, and John, I don't know your last name, but I do know you're the Attack Knight, the Night Attack Knight who might attack Night Attack. What are you talking about? That is a lot of things to be yeah. a. Uh, that's I fine. also represent the only two undefeated players in the movie draft this uh, this quarter. Oh, uh, we true. are still waiting on our check. From as, as, a, as a team, the two of you guys definitely won this summer. However, now you guys are going to be at each other's throats. Uh, so get ready for your friendship to end. And, of course, my co-host on Night Attack, uh, Mr. Justin Robert Young. Uh, Justin, uh, you want to walk us through the rules on this thing? Absolutely, Brian. Uh, this the uh, what is already being called the Porta Winter League draft uh, <laughs> will uh, run on our uh, auction raptor system as run by the fabulous T2T2. We are, of course, still being curated by the dark wizard Dan Dirks. Go ahead and visit strawpole.me to see another um, amazing piece of wizardry that this man has created. However, here's how it goes. We all have a hundred fake dollars. We bid those fake dollars against each other, movie by movie, it will go in chronological order. At the end, we will all have a roster of films. The person whose roster of films has the highest domestic gross combined wins the Porter Winter Draft. Now, keep in mind also that uh, that's not where it ends, right? If, if it was just the six of us here, that would be the entire game. However, we've allowed you guys to play along at home. You're going to sit here and listen to us spend our money foolishly. You're going to see us pay too much for crap movies, too little for truly hidden gems. You will have the opportunity, and we'll explain how after the draft is over, that you can actually log in and spend at market rates, you can spend your own $100 and play in the Chat Realm League. But I guess uh, we're also joined, uh, uh, maybe the biggest superstar in the entire room. Ladies and gentlemen, the now official auctioneer of movie draft fame. Uh, we're joined by Brant the Butcher Hughes. Brant, are you there? That's me. Hey, hey, man. All right, buddy. Walk us through. Uh, for those of you guys watching live, what we're doing is we're actually... Um, uh, using a new auction system developed by T2T2 all, of, all the way over in Estonia. We're going to place bids by, uh, by typing uh, exclamation part, uh, mark, mark, whatever, uh, B, and uh, the amount of our bid, uh, it's all going to be in that lower third. You're going to be able to watch it all happen live. You'll hear Brant describing it for the audio listeners. I, I, is there anything else to say, Justin? Uh, just this. Oh, let's draft some fucking movies that'll make two dollars in the box office. <laughs> What's up first, auctioneer? Uh, that's a good question. Where do I see that? <laughs> oh, well, you don't. Oh, flawless victory. I'm T bidding. I'm bidding. T2T2 T2 right now is sending you an invitation, or Dan Dirks is, or somebody is. Draft.diamondclub.tv is if you would like to follow along, not only for our auctioneer, but also you folks oh. at home to see the uh, the draft in auction. <laughs> that was just there. a clever way of Gatawag uh, getting a pitch a out for the people to be yeah. able to watch as well. Yeah, you have to uh, hey, Brian. Them, Tom, thanks. Uh, take two. Take two. Here we go. Yep. You just go ahead and ask me if there's anything else we need to do. Hey, Justin, is there anything left to say? Yes, Brian. Let's get ready to draft some movies that'll make 14 cents at the box office. <laughs> the first movie is Nightcrawler. Nightcrawlers. Uh, that's Finally, a... Alan Cumming gets a spinoff. Uh, yeah. Nightcrawler releases on Halloween, so uh, I'll give it uh, two bucks. 
and bidding opens. Uh, uh, wow. Uh, Justin already bidding 10. That's amazing. Yeah, Justin for 10. No, Any, nice. Going once. Oh, Anybody yes. more than 10 <laughs> units. He's going so twice. 10 unit like, dollars. For 10. 10 for 10. And sold to Justin R. Young. For it was 10. awfully fast. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Laugh. It's okay. Laugh it up, Buzzball. It might be a great move. <laughs> by the way, by the way, uh, uh, auctioneer Butcher Brant, you know that uh, that you can actually be in the uh, chat room as well, right? If you go to join uh, hashtag yes. aus, uh, auction, right? I am currently there. All right, right on. Good. All right. Then take it away, Auctioneer Brant. And the second film is Big Hero 6. Uh, no active auction, it says. <laughs> and bidding has begun. New leader, Scott Johnson, for $25 units. Hmm. 25. Going oh. once at 25. 26 by Brian Schwoodrow, as some people have called him, mostly himself. Going once. Scott Johnson. 30? What? 30. Are Too you rich insane? for my blood. No, more like wow. big hero dicks. Going once. <laughs> <laughs> Going it. twice at 30. Doesn't even make any sense. No. <laughs> and sold to Scott Johnson. God damn it. Ah, sh I missed it. I missed it by a second. That movie's going to be huge, dude. Oh, wow. You were trying. Why would you try it? Old Snake Dick Brushwood tried to <laughs> snake in and fucking grab it. <laughs> no comment. No comment. Why right. would you wait until the last second? You well, I wasn't trying seconds. to. I couldn't <laughs> type. Five anyway. It, it turns out we have to type stuff. Maybe 15 seconds is too fast. I don't know. The but following you wait until the last second. <laughs> that movie's going to make a lot of money. Yeah, are you guys ready? Ready. Ready? Yep. All right. The next film will be Interstellar. November 7th release date, depending on oh, theaters. Oh, come on. New leader, Brett Roundsville at $37 units. More like Interstellar dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Justin. Brian Brushwood at 38 New leader. <laughs> Scott Johnson at 39 Holy What? Dang. These Whoa. bids are Scott out of Scott is not going to be left behind this time. Uh-oh. That one's no money. These are the two biggest movies this uh, year. Dude, dude. Dang it, dang it. Go, going twice. And sold to Scott Johnson. That's, uh, wow, that's For a 39. guy that we don't have to worry about having any money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I sucked. Nor I'm just going with my guts here, man. These two movies are going to be huge. You know they're going to be big. All right. It's, it's Christopher Nolan. The last time I bet against the Christopher Nolan movie, it was uh, Inception, and it made a billion dollars and won somebody the movie draft. Uh, somebody, somebody, hold on. That that somebody has a name. It's He's right million. here. He's right That's here. That's forgotten Same. in history. He's looking but at you. He's looking at your face. About a world within a world of dreams and. Tom Hardy cross-dressing. Like, so if Scott gets the same play that Inception got, it's going to be six dollars per uh, million. All right, ready, be? ready. Good. Yeah, good to me. Okay, the following movie will be The Theory of Something or Everything or whatever. This is about Alan Turing, man. Yeah. Alan no, Turing. Not. No, the imitation game. And is, bidding is, starts is, off. Brett Stephen Roundsville Hawking. takes the lead at four. <laughs> what the hell is it about? This is Going once. Brian Brushwood at five. Stephen Hawking one. It's the Hawking one, yeah. You're goddamn right five, it is. Five. Justin R. Young. <laughs> you are six. right. I <laughs> like the theory of dicks. <laughs> and here's seven. Going once. Seven. Anybody? Eight. Ten. Twenty. Eighty. Six. Going twice. Enjoy Justin your six dollar jerk off fest. I'm looking six? forward to that movie, but it and ain't. And sold. Dude. Units. Trying to get all this fucking Oscar bait. Oh, whatever, dude. They uh, win, name one time that an Oscar has has uh, uh, won Brian the draft over Scott Johnson. Just one. Probably all of them. You Oscar bait too much, you know what happens. I know. <laughs> Your hands turn all golden. <laughs> <laughs> and the next film will be up. Beyond the Tights. The Lights. It's called Beyond the Lights. Okay. Beyond what the it is. Tights. You have to actually say the fucking names right. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? And bidding begins. John takes the lead at 10. John, what are you doing? Whoa. Go going once for 10. For 10. <laughs> going twice. For 10. Good I job. I sold to John for 10. Units. You got beyond the lights, bro. Congratulations. Got it. 
You'll be able to identify the exact moment your career in this game went to shit. Ooh, this is all the talk we got in the Fault of yeah. Our Stars last just, time, too. Oh, yeah. All right, first of all, you don't understand. You guys keep saying this word, we, like you're a team. You realize you're arch enemies I now, know right? I arch enemies now, but I just feel bad for him. Mm. He got shit upon for this poor little movie called Beyond the Lights. Oh, why don't you just jerk each other off? Let's go to the next movie. <laughs> The next movie will be Dumb and Dumber 2. In the interest of clarity, it's not the two you're thinking of, it's the other one. It Get should it, be the other, other one. It should be 200, shouldn't it? Am I right? John well, Teasdale at it's... one unit. Bidding opens. <laughs> Brushwood for 20. Damn Damn leader. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> going once for 20. 20? 20. 20? Brian Brushwood. Hey, going but... twice. You're a crazy man. Any, anybody want to be 20? 20? Mm -hmm. 20? So... Oh! For $20. Oh, yeah. That was a mistake. I got oh, it for 20 oh, That's the thing God. I got. That thing <laughs> totally got it. Yeah. Hope all those 90 kids show up. 90s children. Well, I know how to silence a room when I yell 90s children. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just thinking about it. That's me. That's all right. Me. What's all right. up next? What's, uh, what's this fox catcher I keep hearing all the buzz about? The kids That's keep talking the one. about it. It will be fox catcher. Thank you, Brian. Yes. <laughs> so this is about a wrestling coach. And bidding uh, opens? A wrestling coach who also manages a paper company. Brett Roundsville at eight units. Taking the lead. Going once for eight. Oh, and John Tisdale takes it. Nine. You're such a dick. Nine, 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 nine. Going to once. To John Teasdale for nine. Going twice. Ah. Will anybody take it? Ah. Nine? Just ah. nine. And sold. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, wait, hold on. I got nothing but shit for fucking taking Nightcrawler, which is getting really good reviews and stars a fucking drama actor in it. And yet, John pays nine for fucking Foxcatcher, the dark, gritty fucking drama featuring the comedy actor. Nobody shits on him. I hear, I'm, I'm shitting on you for that. That's a shitty fucking play. <laughs> Bring it on. Well, in my defense, that last one, I was looking at the wrong column in my spreadsheet. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, believe me, I'll take possibly whatever you guys can get. But, uh, I have no but. I have no follow-up. I have no but. What's this, uh, what's this next movie oh, I've never it? heard of? Thank you, Brian. The next movie is The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1, another in the series of Hunger Games films. Bidding opens... Brian Brushwood. Whoa, John Whoa. Tisdale. 81. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 81. Oh Tom God. Merritt at 82. Whoa! <laughs> Going <laughs> once. <laughs> Are you kidding me? 82. I'm so close. Going twice. <laughs> Go for 83. I have oh, you no have no more? more that you're topped out? And so Tom Merritt. Tom Merritt 82. blew 82 percent of his budget on on. It's probably the smart move. If if you're gonna yeah, like we are. If we're you're gonna each be one. happy for the rest of your life, make the <laughs> Hunger Games your wife. Look, man. Like if if that movie makes the 450 that every other Hunger Games movie makes, and everything else makes between 40 and 60, we're each gonna need 10 movies to top Tom. You gotta account for digital Seymour Hoffman. Oh, jeez. And the next film will be The Imitation Game. Uh, oh, this is the one that, uh, that's about Alan Turing. <laughs> I'll give that one dollar. Benedict Cumberbatch, Tom Merritt at six units. Wait, are you calling me Benedict Cumberbatch? <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah, he is. We're Brett up to, uh, we're up to nine. Up. We got nine. nine. Justin's at nine. Oscar bait. Oscar bait. <laughs> Benedict yep. Cumberbatch for 10. Ooh. Brett Roundsville for 11. 11. Going once. 12 to Justin. Justin! I might end up with no movies in this draft. I'm too cheap for going this. Once. Once, once, once. 12, 12. Going twice. 12. Anybody going to be a 12? 12, 12, 12. Going twice. And sold to Justin Robert Young. All right. Biopics. Let him. Pit Poor like by the dicks. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the following film will be Horrible Bosses 2, the sequel to Horrible Bosses. 
Ah, uh, dang it. And bidding opens. Brett Roundsville at 15. Sure. Mm. Brian Brushwood at 16. 16. 16. Going once. Going once. And Brett for 17. Come on, Brian. Yeah. Just gonna let him Dude, push I know I'm trying to Going type once. it in. I'm trying to type it in. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's Going twice. Char four characters. Oh. oh, I guess four. It's not done. And oh. sold to Brett Rounds. I got a movie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good play for 17. No, it's really not. It's projected nope. to make only 70 million. First one made like 200. Yeah. Mm. Did the it? Next film will be <laughs> Penguins of Madagascar. It looks like it's another in the franchise of Madagascar films. Brett Roundsville at 30. <laughs> Padre <laughs> SJ would have already bought this franchise. Yeah, for, for all of his money instantly. Tom yeah. does not have enough money to take this. <laughs> <laughs> Brett Roundsville going twice for 30. 30? Anybody going to be 30? 30. And sold to Brett Roundsville. Uh, it says a pretty good buy. <laughs> Those movies make bank. Hmm. Do they? <laughs> Do they? <laughs> Will they? Is this new character, Brian. It's skeptical <laughs> Brian character. <laughs> All right. What is the pyramid about? I don't know anything about it. That's a fantastic question, Brian. Uh, it's the story of how the corn lobby strangleholds America. <laughs> or if you want to get on the ground level, Brian, we can talk and we'll, we'll get you in as a manager. <laughs> and bidding opens John Teasdale for three. We seriously not know what the fuck this movie's about? Red Rounds of L at five. It's a horror movie. Doesn't matter. I'm buying it. Ancient mummy comes it. to life. There's no need to use that Brian language. Brian at six. Tom Merritt for seven. Seven. <laughs> I think I think I just got Tom Merritt to outbid him. Going so. once. <laughs> Is that what happened there? Going yeah, twice. Yeah, I, I was just a second behind him, and so he upped his own bid <laughs> and sold to Tom Merritt. Unbelievable. Well, no, I tried to bid six. You bid six before me, so I bid seven. That's mm. all. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, if you didn't bid, I wouldn't have bid seven. Remember this. The next film. Will be top five. What's uh? What's top five about? It's a movie about Chris Rock about a, a meta story where it's a comedic actor who wants to do or like drama and shit. Bidding opens. Brett Roundsville at eight. Oh, Tom, Merritt, Tom Merritt telling me which MP3 player to buy. Brian <laughs> at twelve. Twelve. Going, going once for twelve. Brian Brushwood. My finger may have slipped. I may Not have five. meant to do ten. Going twice. <laughs> 12. Gonna be 12? Thank goodness I got this movie. I am really excited that I got it for 12. <laughs> Did you really hit it wrong and hit? Yeah. No, oh, I meant, I meant to do 10. That's not good. That's great. It's great. That's two bucks you could have used, man. The next movie will be Wild. That's the name of it. It's Wild. What uh, is it? It stars Wild. Box Office Dynamite, Reese Witherspoon. And Laura Dern, last oh, seen in Jurassic Park. On my list. Tom Merritt for two. Justin Robert Young for three. Brian Brushwood at five. The current leader. Oh, I am the leader. Oh, Brett Brett Brownsville Brownsville. for six. Is he going to take it for six? Six. Going once. Six. Mm -hmm. Six, six, six. Tom Merritt, seven. Tom is already in the fucking spoiler category where nothing's gonna going to come once. in under fucking 11. Going twice. Seven. So, like, literally, all he wants to do is just Sold. get anything. No, it's good that we let him buy this because now Sold he's limited in how he can fuck with the rest of the draft. <laughs> and that movie's going to do nothing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to dominate that Reese Witherspoon, Laura Dern demo. Well, yeah. The next movie... Is Exodus, oh, Gods that looks good. and Kings. The Which next in a long Batman tradition of casting around. white people as non white people. <laughs> Brian at 14. 14. 14. 15. John Cisco at 15. Really? <laughs> How could you be shocked at somebody bidding a dollar more than you just bid? <laughs> Going what? once. That's crazy. Going it's crazy. Twice. 
It's got Christian Bale. <laughs> I don't feel That's good about that at all. <laughs> and sold to John Teasdale. I think it's Brian just doesn't like of, it because uh, it's obviously it's obvious that he just doesn't like typing in this system, and so he makes <laughs> one bit. <laughs> I, uh, I I I I can neither confirm nor deny that. It's, it's <laughs> such your poker face. You'll go. 14, I am I am, uh, I am submitting as evidence uh, every time that there's a bid that comes in. He says, "Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm trying to type! I'm trying to type!" <laughs> <laughs> the next film is Inherent Vice, starring Joaquin Phoenix, Josh Brolin, what? Owen Wilson. All these yeah. movies that we did we not know. get sent. This is Justin this, Robert Young at this six. Is a conspiracy. John at seven. I'm just fitting at this point with all the movies. Directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. Justin Robert Young at eight. The current leader. It's a PTA movie that we didn't even make get on our list. Going once at eight. Look, a lot of things happen, man. Not known Going for twice lists. for eight. And Brett at nine. <sighs> Last second. Only because I feel like Justin knows something I don't on this one. Going once. Justin Ooh. Robert Young at ten. Something yeah, about I a milkshake. Still know that, Brad. <laughs> Going once. The silence speaks volumes. You'll drink your milkshake. Going twice. Going twice. 11, 11, 11, 11. Come on. Justin Robert Young. Justin Robert Young. And sold to Justin Robert Young. Oh! oh! I definitely slid in there. Review the tape. Except you didn't. Old Snake Review Dick the Roosevelt. Tape. Look at the tape. <laughs> Yeah, the the raptor me. never it, lies, bro. Show me your proof that I did not get in before it said sold. It fucking says auction raptor and then your name. That's my proof. No, it says right there, bid 11 and then sold to Justin Young for 10. No, it doesn't. Right, no, it does. It's, it says that. It says D2T2 says, raptor, raptor, says, says the tape was reviewed and Amtrekker was late. Sorry. Whoa, time out. Look at this guy. Oh, Tensions not. are running high. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Tom Merritt is bidding on a movie that hasn't started yet. <laughs> it, that's how excited he is about yeah. the next one. Wait for it. <laughs> uh, and we've reached a point where nobody gives a shit. Brett, take your fucking loser ass God, laptop. God. Yeah, why don't you learn to type, asshole? <laughs> My God. <laughs> the next movie will be The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Never Armies. Never heard of it. What do I have? Brian Brushwood at 30. Brad Ransville at 35. Oh, damn it. Brian Brushwood at 40. <laughs> John Teasdale tried to bid all. <laughs> <laughs> this is literally Brian Brushwood at 40. Brett at 41. Another film in the Hobbit series. <laughs> Tom. Is what this is. Tom's bid's Brian my favorite. definitely bid against himself that time. <laughs> Brian Brushman at 43. Going once. Can you fucking frog fraction this shit? Going twice. Brett Rounds about 44. Brian Brushman at 45. Wow. This is this is a heated bid. Would you look at that, ladies and gentlemen? Going once. John T's down 46. Brian Brushman at 47. The twists and turns. I've never seen anything like this in all my years of auctioneering. Brett Rounds about 49. Brian at 50. This is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> going once. A movie draft auctioneering. For 50. Brian Brushwood. Brian Brushwood. Going twice. 50. Any, anybody? 50. Oh! And sold to Brian Brushwood. Enjoy your declining franchise, Snake Dick. Yep. Uh, dude, enjoy my... Uh, I didn't spend 80 bucks for a Hunger Games movie. Hunger Games is easily yeah, gonna that double definitely The rough. Hobbit. <laughs> no way, man! This is yeah, finally yeah. at the end. Yeah, like, nope. th look, have you not heard about the hidden scene where it's like Smog whips out his wiener and like is like, "Ew, look that's at me! I still is, got oh, it." I thought it's Smog turns yeah. into Doctor Strange. There's that new scene in the Battle of the Five Armies where Smog gets uh, cancer and he's a 14 year old girl and he kisses <laughs> a boy at the end. That's, <laughs> that's what happens. <laughs> the next film. Live, will be die, repeat. Oh. The next film will be Annie. Tagline, it is a hard yes. knock Whoa. life. What? Brian Schwitt Rushford really believes 18. in the musical. It is not dead, I say. Going mm. once for 18. Brian Brushwood. Going oh. twice. Little Annie. All, all Brian. Oh, motherfucker! God Soul. damn it, you snake dicked me! Ah! <laughs> 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 Woo! 
SDB, SDB, SDB. <laughs> Dude, I'm out. I ain't even going to watch the rest of this. I'm, I'm going to go get me a beer and celebrate my victory. <laughs> Wait, are you really out of money? Yeah, I spent everything. You tapped out on fucking Little Orphan Annie? <laughs> uh, dude, I'll tell you what. I got Dumb and Dumber 2, Top 5, The Hobbit, and Annie. Tell me that's not going to equal $600 million and also the winning bid. It's that not going to equal $600 million dollars and also the winning bid. You guys are crazy. You're, right. I think now you that... just have this belief in The Hobbit that is uh, analogous to the first movie of The Lord of the Rings. Hmm. And that's hmm. not true anymore. We'll see. Peter Jackson is come and gone. We'll see. Also, yeah, people Brian are into it. They saw them. the first two. They're not waiting around for three. Like, I'm going right. to wait till well, they're all done. Well, let's fucking keep it going, even if fucking Snake Dick has yep. had his last rattle. Yep. <laughs> Brian spent himself on Annie. Let's go to Night at the Museum. Yeah. Secret of the Tomb. Another in the series of Night at the Museum films. <laughs> Bidding opens up. Justin Robert Young at eight. John Teasdale at nine. Justin has an invalid bid, but now he comes back with 10. This is one of Robin Williams' last films. It's a good point. Going once. Bright Roundsville at 12. Justin Robert Young for 14. Ben Stiller is in this. <laughs> Bright Roundsville at 15. Justin for 16. You are the best auctioneer of all time. I appreciate that, Scott. You really are. Going once. 16. <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Brett Rounceville. 17. Unprecedented. <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Tom is bidding imaginary numbers. <laughs> Justin Robert Young at 18. Oh, you're Robert such Robert a fucking Young. asshole. <laughs> Nine, 19? Are you crazy? 18. Going once. Brett Rounceville. Going hard once. knock live. Going twice, going twice, going twice. Brad Roundsville, 19. Anybody going to eat him? 19, 19, 19. Do I hear a 20? Nope. Sold to Brett Roundsville for 19. Enjoy getting Ooh. stiller. Robin Williams. More like Night at the Dixium. <laughs> Sick burn. Oh, no. Sick burn. <laughs> that was a sick burn. The next movie, The Gambler, starring Candy Marky Rock. Mart. And Just based Larson. on the country song? Uh, somebody informed might know the answer to that, Scott. <laughs> Justin Robert Young at 11. John oh, Teasdale hey, for 12. Him? The gambler. Never mind. Everybody, play as you were. Know when to hold him. Going once. John Teasdale. He might be gambling with this bid. <laughs> Going twice. <laughs> <laughs> and sold to John Teasdale for 12. Delivery brand. <laughs> Even the auctioneer is against me now. <laughs> it only pay out well. The next film is entitled American Sniper. Bradley Cooper, directed by Clint Eastwood. Tom Merritt comes out with four. Brad Rounceville for 13. Justin Robert Young at 14. Scott Johnson for 15. 15. American Sniper. Scott Johnson. Going once for 15. Going twice. Is anybody going to? Oh, and Brett snipes it out. 16 units. Snipes it out. He once. really wanted someone to bid on that so that he could use that line. <laughs> <laughs> going twice. <laughs> and sold to Brett Ransville for 16 units. <clears throat> The following film will be Big Eyes. Uh, is it an anime film? Probably not, but it could be. <laughs> Tim Burton. <laughs> Justin Robert Young, eight units. John Cizdo oh, for nine. You win, dude. That was great. <laughs> oh, man. And tie. Uh, Justin Robert Young comes in at the new leader with $10. Going once. Lots Tim Burton trying to cash in on his big trilogy. <laughs> Going twice. The eyes. Burton. Yeah. Next is the big lips. Big eyes. eyes have it. Ayo, sold to Justin Rubber. <laughs> 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 
Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, the next film will be Into the Woods, a musical. Is it really? And John T. Sale for 20. Wow. It's really a musical? Well, I guess it is. Holy crazy. <laughs> Is it really that musical? Uh, Can we John, think about it? John Teasdale outbid himself, but then Justin Robert Young and John Teasdale back and forth. This is insane. Justin Robert Young, 45. Chris John, in that. at 46. 46. Going once. Justin Robert Young comes back. 47. 48 with John. 48. 48. Going once. Holy Meryl shit. Streep. Emily Blunt, Anna Kendrick. A lot of big names here. Going twice. 48. You stopped at Chris Pine, I noticed. <laughs> big names. Sold. Lots of big names John here. Also Chris Pine. Yeah. 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 $48 for Into the Woods? That sounds crazy. Are you That's, high? I, I wouldn't have paid over six for that. Look, I mean, it's... so did Frozen last year, to be fair. Yep. But Frozen's animated. But, it, I mean, like, so is a million fucking animated movies that came out that didn't do Frozen numbers. Frozen was big because of the fucking song. Into the woods. <laughs> Will, Will, <laughs> yeah, I'm just going on, like, the moment. Who got it? Thing. So you got you hey, got. by that? the way, uh, uh, real quick prediction, and log this one in the books. Uh, whichever one of you guys has enough money to nab Taken 3 will win the draft. <laughs> will you right. shut up? You're not supposed to d make people do things. I, I I'm just suggest I'm, I'm just predicting. Solid yeah. advice. Look, call me call me Pete Rose. Figure this out. Whoever has See. enough money to win Mordecai will win the draft. Hey, always bet on Johnny Depp. Mm -hmm. Unless he's not wearing a pirate costume, in which case stay away. <laughs> the next film. Uh, lately, anyway. Will, will be the interview, a James Franco Seth Rogen <laughs> film. Oh, this is that South Korean deal. It is. Fred Rounsfeld at 8. Justin Robert Young at 10. North Korea, right? $10. North Going Korean, once. Sorry, North Korean. Because they it had to have. change the plot. Fred yeah, they, would, they wouldn't have any trouble getting into South Korea. <laughs> they sneak into South Korea and then just realize, oh, wait. Whoops. This is an open country. And just tour Samsung or something. Right, for 14. Justin Robert Young, 15. Brad Brownsville, seventeen really dollars. Face, I just want to let you know you're a piece of shit, and I'm gonna kick you out of my fucking house if you keep going once. <laughs> just Robert Young, Thanks not just with I hot I, words, I, I, but I, hot I, bids at eighteen. <laughs> going once at eighteen. Hot bids. Scott Johnson, twenty-one. Oh man! Oh, out of nowhere. Are you kick poor Scott out of your house too. Going once. Hey Scott, I'm not sure, but I think you might be able to nab Taken Three. Which will win you the game. That's what I keep hearing. Not now. And sold to Scott Jensen for time. I was going to oh. save 31. For, I, I really do want to take a three, to be honest. Mm. But. Well, you you don't have it now. You Won't screwed it, it all now. up. Hey, Justin, good news. You're going to win because you're going to get taken three. <laughs> oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> all right. The but I don't film. know, man. The Rogan, oh. uh, what's his name, train is hard to fight. They made a lot of money in every dumb thing. Uh, that thing's projected to make like 60 mil tops. Really? Yeah. Mm. And bidding has started on Unbroken. So was Neighbors. And they almost won. Mm. John Teasdale with six. Oh, Brett Roundsville with eight. Unbroken was that one that I said was going to make zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> going oh, once. Directed eight. by Angelina Jolie. Yeah. So you know it's good. Oh, oh geez. Twice. <laughs> twice for eight. So you know it's working. Uh, 68,000. And sold to Brett uh, Brownsville. Also, this is based on another hugely selling book, much like The Fault in Your Stars that you guys shit on. Never heard the of Fault it. In our stars. How many of you saw it? Oh, definitely not. No. Holy no, shit. Can I buy movie. every movie that comes out from here on? Probably. Yes, you can, Sarah Lane. Enjoy it. <laughs> All right. With that, we will be going to Taken 3. It is the third movie in the Taken series. Well, <laughs> I think Brett and With Scott might be able to get one out of you. Nope. Justin Robert Young at 11. No. Nope. Going Dude. once. Do do it? Dude, it looks like he might be Holy taking cow. this film. Yeah. Justin McScrooge might end up winning this just by hanging on to and sitting on all and of sold. January. Because that's when all the good stuff is released. 
<laughs> not good enough for Oscar bait and not good enough for summer. That's hey man, a steal. Dude, yeah, but it's, it's, but it's ten bucks as a steal. You know, twenty million a piece. I'm gonna call my million. strategy Boom. critics picks and leftover dick. <laughs> dude, uh Taken Three is legitimate uh, uh chat realm team Taken Three is the best buy of the game. If if you're playing at home, definitely do that. The next film, Black Hat. Well, the ten bucks is the best buy of the game. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Black Hat. Bidding opens. Bright Brownsville at 10 units. And <laughs> just Robert Young with a shocking 11. Who could have guessed? What an upset. What happened to Paddington? Going once. Did that go? It's next. still it's next. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. For just Robert Young. The early voting is in. And sold. And it looks like Pol Pot has a <laughs> strong chance to win the draft. Again? Uh, All right. Am Amtrekker. Am Amtrekker. Just... Am Amtrekker. Am Amtrekker. Can someone Hang kick on. fucking <laughs> bread in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next film, Paddington. Let me guess what Amtrekker's going to bid. I think it's worth $11. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The, the classic 10, 11, 1, 2, oh, punch. Section. Going once. Yeah. <laughs> Justin is padding his his, his slate. Of films. If I win, I'm gonna do it like a hundred thousand dollar movies at a time. And it's so, like if you put enough a hundred thousand dollar movies together, you can have the Hunger Games. <laughs> the I next film. Like having money left over. The next film, The Wedding Ringer. Comedy. Oh, who can guess how the? <laughs> Do I want the wedding ringer or Mordecai? Mordecai, Brett Rousseau Rigby, going once. take Rigby. <laughs> going twice, <laughs> Brett Rounceville. Punchies, and Frozen sold winning. to Brett Rounceville for ten. Yeah, everyone no. knows Frozen went big because of Josh Gad. <laughs> <laughs> And that brings us to uh, the final film of the auction, Mordecai. Mm. Gonna, gonna John Teasdale for six. On Johnny Depp. Damn and it. And Robert Young for 19. Oh, man. make the chat realm pay high for it. I'll tell, the, I'll tell you this much, man. Um, Justin's twice. either going to win big or lose hard. Like, he took some daring out so... there. It's actually an interesting strategy. I'm curious to see how it all plays out well I I nine like... movies <laughs> yeah. nine. okay but i mean but here's the thing like like the whole winter draft we're gonna be jack shit but if i bet against underperformance on the blockbusters who fucking knows all i need is one of these to become yeah, yeah. worth out you're covering the spread better by the way in in my chat uh i um uh well, well let's 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 walk down our slate and let's each of us kind of explain where we think we're at um i'm going to revise my estimate i was bragging saying i would hit 600 million i don't think that i'm looking at dumber dumber 2 top 5 the hobbit uh battle for the five armies and annie i'm going to say together <laughs> you, all those... your strategy is battle of the five annies yeah exactly <laughs> um I'm going to say that I'm going to hit around 450, which will not win me, but will keep me in the top three. Uh, all right. Well, I have jack shit. I mean, I, I don't think all of these are like 30 to 60s, you know? Well, well no, no, no. Uh, take, uh, taken no. three is projected uh, by the Hollywood Stock Exchange to do over 70 million. So, I mean, like, if that does to par, you know, the kid movie does whatever. I really just need I need Nightcrawler, Imitation Game, or Inherent Vice to be word of mouth, like high seventies, eighties. I mean, the problem is is that Nightcrawler premieres on Halloween and is currently projected to do like twenty five to thirty, right? No, but they do all those slow rolls. It's like like like, like Nightcrawler might be out. Like Chef, it's gonna be a great buy. Uh, I mean, listen, I, I I have no fucking hopes for my slate. Like, I, I, no, I, I actually I think that this game goes down to either Tom. Wait, or wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want to know what what Justin thinks. Yeah, like, sorry. if you, if you're gonna project, if you're gonna guess where where you end up, where do you think you you end up? Uh, all right. Well, here, let me get. Uh, since I have so many fucking movies, I need to add all this horse shit up. Uh, let's say. 
FLS Carnage helpfully points out that nine movies at fifty million would be four hundred and fifty million. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I, I think Paddington will do better than you thought it would. All right, so let's uh, say Taken Three is that will do well. Like, and these are all rosy, rosy, rosy estimates. Nightcrawler does twenty. Theory of Everything does twenty. Fifteen. Uh, imitation game, I say, is is the twenty. God, we have to watch this word of mouth kind of thing. So let's go thirty-five. Inherent Vice is Paul Thomas Anderson and Joaquin Phoenix doing something good. And let's say thirty. Let's say Big Eyes is five. Taken three. Let's go above projections and say eighty. Black Hat twenty. Paddington. Overperforms at 30 and Mordecai is at 15. I have 250 million dollars. So fuck me. <laughs> you might have a surprise. You never know. Uh, all right, Tom, justify your slate. Uh, Hunger Games. Yeah, no, uh, but specifically, what do you think it's going to do? And, and 487 million is what I'll finish with. 487? Oh, total, total. Yeah, of the, well, pff, yeah. Okay. I mean, so I'll make 40 million maybe off the other two. Okay, but but mainly you think uh, Hunger Games gonna do like above three eighty? Yeah. Uh, by the way, John Teasdale, I hate you. What? <laughs> Take that. Because well, my whole strategy was get the Hunger Games, and he's the one who threw in the eighty one <laughs> and pushed you that far. All right, John. John, <laughs> where do no where, way where, I was gonna let somebody walk away with the Hunger Games? That was like the only thing that I did correctly today. All right. No, John, I, <laughs> yes, I hate you for being so correct. Believe me. <laughs> It is a hate filled with oh, admiration and respect. Done. John, where do you think you're going to end up? For that. Oh, I'm in dead last. Well, no, 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 but g give us a dollar amount and, and, and explain it. Um, I am going to get drunk later. <laughs> <laughs> I did way better on this when I, was, when I had a glass of ruin in my hands. I have no idea how much money I'm going to make. Uh, uh, well, if Into the Woods... Like, I wanted that one. Into the Woods was the movie that I thought that if I got that with my, my yeah. rest of my dead wood fucking bullshit, I had a shot. Into, because Into the Woods is, like, the one the one but, thing I'm really happy to But I don't think that I could have gotten that and taken. I think, like, yeah. if you were Into not Into the Woods will do 100, get, 120 million, probably. If, if you were not going, if you're not going to get one of the legit fucking thoroughbred blockbusters, uh, I thought putting together Taken and... Uh, and and into the woods could have could have done that they together could have made a, a Hunger Games or a Hobbit or something yeah. probably closer to the Hobbit than the Hunger Games. Yeah, Hobbit will be what two fifty you think? Yeah, I, I, mean, I, I wish it was more. That's that's what you don't know is that like the Hobbit movies they yeah. keep going down. Yeah. Yeah, but 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 also they're getting I, better I, to I the end, right? Like like five. you're getting closer to a giant dragon battle, and people know that. No, the giant dragon battle was in the second one. Well, whatever. You're gonna. It's bigger at the end. And I a assume. nice walk home in the third that's, one. That's that's the problem. Is it should be, and it doesn't seem yeah, like it's trending. Right. That look, way. Look, look, I already admitted I'm not gonna win. Uh, all right. So so what's your estimate for your total, John? Um, let's just say two hundred. <laughs> oh, wow. All right. By uh, the way, all right. So not Brian over here. Hobbit one, eighty four million. Hobbit 2, 73 million. It would not be inconceivable if, if Hobbit 3 came in at 50. What? Wait a minute. That's, that's, that's no, a total? That's crazy is talk. Total. Oh, that's opening. Sorry. Wait, hold on. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's opening that weekend, motherfucker. Well, I mean, no, but yeah, opening weekend. Seriously. But, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, sorry. So it would not be conceivable if it came in under 200. Uh, yeah, it might. Drop, it drop 50 million. From Look, I already made my prediction. Let's go. Uh, let's go down the list. Brett, what's your prediction? Uh, so, I um, if everything makes about what my rosy estimates would have given me, then I'm looking at like 720. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, right, I'll bet you. I'll I bet you. Like I'll bet you my favorite mug in Tom. the universe that you will not what? hit 750. <laughs> so, so Brett, you you believe that. Either my strategy of just taking all dog shit and fucking Oscar bait yeah. or Tom's, which is like all you're in. you're bound to get a couple of pops out of there. Nothing's going to make like less than 30 or 40. And I feel like I took the middle ground between you and Tom where I have like a couple of middling hits mm -hmm. like Madagascar series and horrible bosses. All right, look, look. Uh, all right, I think they'll break 100. Hold, but like, all right, here's, 
here's what I say. I, Horrible Bosses does 60 to 70. Penguins does uh, 90 to 100. Night at the Museum does 110. So you're up to around 300 million. Secret of the Tomb, American Sniper, Unbroken, The Wedding Ringer, all together is another. Like, you, you might win this, but I, it'll be under 500 million. There is, well, let me just say there's not a single Madagascar series that has performed under uh, 200 million, and the penguins are the most beloved characters. Uh, no, first of all, uh, first of all, the, the penguins are the television spinoff from the Madagascar sp- series. Yeah. This is not a Madagascar movie. This is the it's penguins being sold movie. to families as a Madagascar movie. I mean, you got to figure it'd be on par with what a what a Minions movie will do next year, right? So if you're if you're Same playing the draft, up. like I think this is a fairly good analog to that. I think the Minions will do more because it's a more current T- and relevant. Totally agree. They're the standout, so this one's going to do better. I'm All right, sure. Scott, where do you think you're going to end up? By the way, Night of the Museum, uh, first one 250 million, second one 177 million. So in a, in a declining franchise. So I'll tell you what I had these pegs as, do as in my rosy estimates. I had uh, I had horrible bosses two at 100. Penguins of Madagascar at 250, Night at the Museum at 150, American Sniper at 100, Unbroken and the Wedding Ringer at 60 apiece. I think that's a bit optimistic on the last two, but I think and on general you're Scott okay. Johnson's going to find out whether he's won the draft in the next seven days. Because- <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so, so where do you think you're going to end up, Scott? All right, my biggest weakness in the three movies that I ended up with are the only real weakness, in my opinion, other than the interview, which I don't think is going to do huge numbers, but it'll do okay. Uh, I think that'll do. I, I'll bet the interview does $100 million, but the other two are both capable of 300 each. It's just they open the same weekend, and that's got me a little skittish. Uh, yeah, I would imagine. Uh, now, now, the good news is Big Hero is the first ever Disney animated movie based on a Marvel franchise. Yeah, right? it's also got perfect reviews so far. I feel I feel like that thing has got some serious legs and is going to just bowl everybody so, over. Here, it's here's the reason. Sure. Here's uh, uh, there would be Wreck It Ralph. Yeah. Wreck It Ralph did 189 million. So I think 200 is. I mean, obviously it's on the the rosy side, but it it certainly has a shot. I have you read the reviews for Interstellar, dude? Uh, uh, no, I, I've not. I've not. But. Interstellar smells exactly like, and it's like I almost went for it myself. It smells exactly like uh, Inception four years ago, three years ago. Uh, it, it smells exactly like Gravity last year, which ended up being a huge performer for Snubs. Yeah. Well, no, here, all right, so here's what the reviews say that make me think that it, it could be a fucking killer. Every review that's critical of it says that it is too schmaltzy and has very convenient emotional plugins that are not up to par with what they believe now these are critics those are the exact same critics people gave to guardians of the galaxy yeah well yeah i mean i would say in guardians of the galaxy got more of like oh it's fun but whenever you over whenever critics say eh, too easy too convenient yada 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 that means that fucking moviegoers will be like Oh, it's just like the thing that I know. I, I feel like it is Nolan. It's, yeah, it smells a lot more like gravity. Game, not than giving Inception a shit to me. about this is a, this is a new thing. It's that he gives a shit that it resonates from fucking Cedar Rapids to Bombay. Yeah. All right. So if I'm if I'm betting, I'm gonna bet that to make people open their wallets. Yeah. Dry. If I'm betting, I'm gonna bet that Brett wins, and I'm gonna say that I make second or third place. But I'm pretty sure I'm on the top half. Uh, I think I'm going to eat more like big hero dicks because <laughs> fuck it. Uh, I think my slot is fucking terrible and it will be a, by far be my worst showing in the history of the movie. I think trip. you have a chance, man. I think you have so many movies. Stop that blowing smoke up my ass. No, no, no. I, well, and actually, uh, Brett's, Brett's, Brett's not bullshitting you here, Justin. Like, like that's one of the things. Like, um, uh, uh, you make money on the unpredictable blockbuster, right? The surprise hit. I got and a lot of long shots. <laughs> I'm betting on a lot of well, that's fucking... That's the thing. You have a, a lot, lot of 20 of to 1s. Yeah. All right. Man, QNX Monkey just broke my heart. He says, watch Interstellar be another Edge of Tomorrow. Great movie, awesome reviews, and crap money. No, that would I don't break think so. Heart. It's a Nolan movie, and it's got a bunch... I mean, I know Oscar Tom winner. Cruise is a big name, but he's a big name people don't trust anymore. This has got this has got a, a hotter slot of stars in it, I think. Yeah. I think Anne Hathaway should have been in Big Eyes, by the way, for the record. She's got a huge fucking set of them, I'll tell you yeah, that. Uh, yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah. I like Big Eyes. Um... <laughs> 
Well, there we go, kids. All right, uh, uh, real quick, let's check in down. on the uh, straw poll. I'm with uh, my, my friend uh, Jared here, but uh, let's go ahead and give uh, a huge round of applause, everybody, for Dan Dirks. For Dan course. Dirks, Dan the Dirks. commissioner of the Winter Draft League. We got to give a huge thanks to Brant Hughes, the official auctioneer of every movie draft. We have to give a huge thanks to Thank T2T2 you. for uh, having a precise and functional method Ooh. To determine who got their bids in on Check time, you hear that, time. Brett? Did in before Justin? Except he didn't. Uh, all right, uh, real quick, uh, Johnny, you got anything to plug to everybody? Yeah, you want to plug something for everybody to go to because they like you and they want to follow you and your work as they go forward in life? I have no idea. Teasdale Games. About. Oh, <laughs> I have a website, uh, StrangerDanger.biz. I uh, just put out a new card game. All right, just because it's not new, but I just revamped the website. It's a really fun game uh, where you meet lots of people, have a great night out at a bar or wherever it is that you want to go. Check it out. There we go. Also, uh, who does nobody like? I designed or I worked on with John. So if you like uh, me and John, then go ahead and play that game. It's a great way to ruin friendships. Brett, <laughs> uh, mission pick? Yeah, mission pick is uh, getting a huge revamp in the next month, and we're gonna start shouting about it from the rooftops as soon as that goes live. I've seen, yeah, and you you are not shitting. It like is all, slick. All, all the shit you've shown me, like, yeah. and and I think we can all finally say, like, mission pick, great game. It was a better game than it was an app, and now you oh. are gonna have an app that is commensurate to how awesome that it's game killer. is. I get more and more excited every single day about it. Uh. And hey man, can you uh, talk about the news on the provider? Yeah. Uh, well, there is a better than average chance that it comes out next summer as a graphic novel uh, published by a very real comic book company. What? Yeah, I, it's uh, it's something we can talk about later on. There's there's a ninety nine percent chance. This is why you can't tell me anything because I'll force you to talk about it publicly on the internet yeah. before you're ready. Uh, so go ahead, everybody, get excited. Hey, Justin, and Justin, it's gonna finish it, and it's gonna be. Uh, it's definitely getting finished, no yeah. matter what. Uh, like you're, if you follow Bruno on Twitter, Bruno Oliveira, uh, you're gonna see lots of art from the provider over the next few months, uh, way past what you would see in a meager issue two. Hey, Justin. Yeah. Do you got any uh, Patreons recently launched? You want to talk about? Uh, yeah. So we have the Weird Things Patreon. Uh, it's Weird Things is a podcast to do with Brian and Andrew Maine and. Uh, Fuck my butt if it isn't already churning right along. Uh, we are, I mean, coming up on... We're already one quarter of the way to our first goal. Yeah. So uh, once we get to 1000 uh, bucks, we are going to hire a producer. And if you like weird things and you like it coming out every week, then boy, fuck, are you going to like it when we have a producer who actually forces us to do it every week. Uh, also, we have a bunch of other really, really awesome perks there, including a one-day convention, updating the website a lot more, uh, doing a digest of all the stories that we talk about, which are fucking amazing, and some really, really fun stuff. So go ahead and check it out, patreon.com slash weird things. Scott? Yeah. Hello. What do you got? Oh, I have too many things to mention here, so I would just say people go to my website, frogpants.com, there's a billion things going on, and you'll like them all. And if you don't, well, then F off, and I don't give a shit, and we'll talk about that. <laughs> Stone Cold Scott Johnson, fucking leaving the ring with both middle fingers in the air. <laughs> hey, man, congratulations goes to Pol Pot, our number one pick for winner of the 2014 movie draft. Horrible <laughs> government leader, amazing drafter. Uh, all right, and uh, Tom, Brian? Tom's Ford writing Killers. books. Com. technically your show, right? So you don't really need to plug shit. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> oh, by the way, this is the right time to remind everyone that you can join. If you think we made a mistake, if you think that we poorly undervalued some movies, you could spend your own $100. You could be part of the Chat Realm League. They accept up to 1,000 participants. If you head on over to draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. Again, that's draft.diamondclub.tv slash form. By or the way, go to if box you think that we are com. Start your own damn league. That's yeah, right. if you think we're total fucking jackanapes, then fucking head on over to Box Office Trap. Do your own thing. Draft your own league. Fucking hang out with your friends. It's good. It's, it's a beautiful time. It's an amazing website that T2T2 created. Uh, and by the way, because I can't keep my fucking dirty fingers out of your uh, pocket to grab your hard-earned money, uh, we're also uh, running a, a goal on the DTNS Patreon uh, for, to get me on as a regular contributor. If you want a sense of what I might be doing on a very regular basis, go ahead and listen to today's episode of the show. 
I did a little pre-recorded piece about the merchant consumer or customer exchange, which is the the group of companies that uh, disallowed Apple Pay from their stores yeah. over the weekend. You Bob Woodward of that shit. Followed the money. There we go. Uh, and it led me down to Whole Foods, timing how fast I could use Apple Pay versus using taking a picture of a jar of toothpicks. And that all makes sense if you listen to the show. No, absolutely. TaylorTechNewsShow.com. Look at listen to today's episode. It's if you're interested in that whole Apple Pay controversy, it's going to shed some light on it. Uh, all right. Well, here I gotta go. I love you guys. Bye, right. guys. See you guys. Thanks, everybody. Bye.